Hello guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be mainly focused on this new product from Makeup by Mario. This is the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. It's a bronzer putty type product and I was a little skeptical at first to be honest because Soul Body, which is a sister brand of ColourPop, has a bronzing balm that I use quite often and it's super affordable so I felt like I didn't need this at first and then I saw Mario talk about it, demonstrate it, you know, all that over on his Instagram and I was in Sephora and I decided to pick it up. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Kendall. I review all sorts of beauty products and skincare, makeup, eyeshadow palettes, and I actually really love complexion. I don't know why I don't review more complexion, so this is probably going to be my first complexion review in a while, but it is one of my favorite categories right now. So with that being said, also in today's video, I'm going to do the whole base, which is why I don't have any base makeup on right now. I'm going to do a whole base routine working in this new product and just let you know my thoughts. I had some requests over on my TikTok to do this. So here we are. I know that my videos on YouTube have been few and far between lately. So if you want to stay up to date with me, make sure you follow me on my TikTok. I've been way more active there and my Instagram, Snapchat and all that. But let's get started and start off with the base makeup. So I have Jolly Pop Primer down on my face right now. If you guys don't know, gripping primer tends to work a little bit better if you leave it on for a while. I actually have had it on for a really long time because I attempted the little smoky Kylie Jenner eye look. Mine's a little dull. It's a little less like smoked out and I don't know. I like it, but it's not like the best look I've ever done. So this has been down for probably a half an hour, if I'm being honest. I've been watching YouTube. First up, I think I'm going to go in with the Tried and True Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury. This has been one of my longest lasting high-end products. It's lasted forever. I feel like I just keep waiting for the day that I run out, but every time I dip it in, more product comes out. But I do think it's pretty close. So I'm just putting this on places where the sun would touch my face. Uh, but I love this all over the face. I love this on top of makeup. I just love this product. But mine, like the cap is broke. The letters are starting to fall off. It might be time to get a new one. It's probably expired. I'm going to buff this in with my favorite brush from Sigma right now. This is the Multitasker. It is helping me with my very busy lifestyle. This adds glow to the skin. And it also has a teensy little tint to it. Mine is in the shade 2. I feel like that's really good for fair to light skin tones. And just look at that glow. But it does help to combat the redness too. For today's video, I'm going to be using the Kosa's Revealer Skin Improving Foundation with SPF 25. I don't have SPF on my face. I want to make sure some is down. The only downside to this foundation for me is the smell. It has a weird smell. It doesn't smell good. I'm just going to dot this around to add coverage. Also like that it's skincare and quote is improving my skin over time. I like to pat my makeup in even when I'm using a brush. I'll swipe it on at first and then I'll buff it in, tap it in. This foundation is so beautiful but it smells so bad. I don't understand Kosa's. So that was like less than one pump of foundation. I don't feel caked up or anything like that. All right, just a little comparison, just so you guys know. The Soul Body Face and Body Bronzer in the shade Medium has 31 grams of product, 1.1 ounce of product. And the Mario product has 5 grams, 0.18 ounce. So this has way, way, way more in it than this one. My Soul one is probably a little dried out, so I like to warm it up. First, I'm going to do a little swatch. This is like very pigmented and I don't really think that's what the Mario one is going for. And my Mario one is in the shade light. Immediately less pigmented, more dewy. It's like dewy on my finger and I'm going to swatch it. That is an incredible, incredible difference. So we're talking totally different products. I just wanted to knock that out right away before I put this on my face. Like dewy, barely any color, like lightly tinted, totally different. All right, I'm looking down because I'm going to read the description on the Sephora website for you guys. It says it's a three-in-one tinted complexion balm that warms and nourishes with sheer coverage to even out the appearance of skin tone. This is also $30, so it's not cheap. An initial thought of mine on the packaging is, is this going to dry out? Because it doesn't have 
uh, the little stopper, the little plastic stopper or anything in there. I cannot remember. I don't think it came with one. If it did, that's completely my fault. But it snaps closed. Hopefully it's airtight. Without further ado, let's just enhance my complexion. So again, this is the shade light. I'm going to go in with my Air Kabuki from Sigma. This is the F80 Air. I use this for a lot of primers, cream products. I am going to kind of pick up a lot. This is just how I've been doing it. And I'll disperse it over my two cheeks first just to make sure I don't get too much on one cheek. So we are already glowy. There's no doubt about that. I'm just dotting this along the bronzer area. This is definitely more of a bronzer product than it is a contour. This is not going to contour. This is going to just add color. So I'm just dotting the pigment where I would normally bronze. And immediately, without a lot of effort, this is already blending out. I'm hoping my camera is in focus for you guys, but it just blends completely effortlessly. It's not ever going to look muddy. It's not going to look cakey. It really melts into the skin, especially when you move it around with the warmth of your skin. It just kind of disappears and leaves a hint of bronze. I'm brushing this on. I'm getting a little lazy. Just brushing it on the forehead where the sun would hit my forehead. You can see there's not even a scrap of muddiness to my forehead, and it could have been a little bit more muddy. Let's say I was digging into that Soul Body product, it would take me a lot longer to blend it out. And then something I like to do personally is take quite a bit on my brush, and because I have like a little dub chin, a little bigger face, you know, I like to go underneath and just go under the jawline with this product. It also helps blend the foundation color down the neck because you don't want to have like a foundation mask. It didn't take any of my dewiness away. It didn't take any of the foundation away. It didn't lift anything. This brush works pretty well. I would recommend using a duo fiber brush or your fingers would probably work fine too. I'm going to take like excess, I guess, and go down my nose. You're probably not going to see this at all. This comes in six different shades, and again, mine is in the shade light. I believe mine is the lightest shade. I was going to get light medium, but I didn't want to get something that would be too, too dark, especially with my face not being tan. But I'm really, really content with this product so far, and that's pretty much all I can say is that it's very different from anything that I've used, and it has that dewy complexion, which I really, really like. So I am going to finish off my complexion here on camera, but really, that's kind of all I have to say about this. If you guys have any questions for for me then leave them in the comments but let's finish up this face because there are steps that I will do to complete this look. For concealer I have tested this out twice now. This is the new Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer and I can't remember what this was marketed as. I want to say it was marketed as being was it luminous? I think luminous or just hydrating or I'm not sure I can't remember but that is definitely what this is for me. It's a concealer that is full coverage. This one is in the shade Cotton Candy. It's a little bit brightening for me, but it does not dry out my skin. It does not crease. It doesn't look cakey. It's really good and actually quite hydrating for me. So I've really been liking it. So that's like a mini review of the Faux Filter Concealer. And I kind of hope they don't get rid of the other concealer formula because I really really liked that. The Overachiever was one of my favorites. My favorite concealer right now is the Kosa's Revealer Concealer. The only thing is the last time I opened it I felt like the color looked different than the first time I opened it. So I'm kind of wondering if it's oxidizing in the tube which eventually could definitely be a problem for me. But that just took care of any darkness I had underneath my eyes. I like to kind of keep my concealer in the corner of my eyes and then drag it down my nose. And that's pretty much all I've been doing with that. So I'm just going to use my favorite liquid blush from ColourPop. I have been using this Hotline Cheek Dew blush. This time I'm taking it with this Duo Fiber. And I'm just going to go along the high points. It doubles as a highlighter because it has like a sheen to it. So this has been a really, really good blush, and I'm kind of just topping the contour area with it, and then I'm going to add a little to the center of the forehead, down the middle of the nose, and my chin. 
I've been getting a lot of questions about do I powder my face and typically the answer is no I don't but when I do this is what I've been doing. So I'm taking a spotlight duster brush from Sigma and my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish setting powder in the shade fair tapping off just once the excess and then I press this into the corner of my nose just like that same thing on the other corner I just don't like my texture around my nose it's a problem and it also hits that you see how it hits just underneath the eye like the corner of the eye that's all I do then maybe a little bit in between my eyebrows the chin and the god-awful upper lip because it sweats and that's literally it it was one press into the powder one tap off and then just everything I just showed you <laughs> that's what I do this is gonna make it life proof so I'm gonna add my favorite setting spray mm. I do like to like fan myself a little bit so it doesn't drip not that it ever has dripped but this is the routine. <laughs> For lipstick, I'm just going to try this out. I hunted it down because of Glamzilla on Instagram. I watched an Instagram story of her using like the last scraps of this Rimmel London Kate number 42. Like she was dipping in for the last scraps of it. So I actually had to buy this on eBay because I wanted it so bad. It's a nude lipstick. It might end up being too nude, but we're going to put it on. A little too nude. I just found this pencil in my lip pencil drawer. It's from Bodyography in the shade Heatherberry. It probably came in a boxy charm. Oh, I overlined too much. I will probably change my lipstick to a shade of pink because I'm going to be filming another video. Um, but this is fine for now. <laughs> so that is it, you guys. That was my first impression on the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. I do not think that this is like anything I have in my collection already. It is way different than the Soul Body one. The Soul Body one is great in itself if you're looking for a drugstore cream bronzer. That one will contour and bronze up your face. This one's definitely more of a hint of color, a hint of like sunlight, if you will, and dewiness. It's great if you guys are into the same dewy kind of complexion that I am. I am dry. You guys need to know I'm a very dry human being. So if you are oily, please comment below if you've tried this so that we can help each other out. Um, even if you're dry, let me know how you liked this product if you did try it for yourself. Let me know if there's anything else that you guys would like to see over here. I want to do the videos that you guys want to see. I will do as many of them as I can. And I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit more insight into the base products that I've been loving. I've been really, really into base. So I plan on doing more complexion, you know, foundation, concealer type reviews on this channel. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, if you're interested in the same type of videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me. That's all I have for today's video. And and hopefully I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye guys.